Hello and welcome to this session in Business Analytics. I am Rajesh Durbala, your instructor for this session. I am an assistant professor in Business Analytics. So what's new in this session today? I'll just tell you a small story before we start off today. Actually, today's session is motivated by one of my dearest friends. She sent me a WhatsApp riddle or a puzzle. She wanted me to solve it. Now, when she gave me the problem, the problem seemed very small and innocuous. I felt there is no challenge in that. I could solve the problem easily, but suddenly in a flash, in a jiffy, I could feel this problem could be solved on spreadsheets. That would be a very interesting model building practice exercise for most of my students. So I thought of sharing the same problem with all of you and what we are going to learn through it is what are the various good principles in model building and how to write correct formulas in excel worksheet how to copy formulas from one cell to the another to a large range of cells so these are certain learnings that we are going to learn from this session okay so let's move ahead this is the problem that's what i call the red fish problem now the problem goes this way you have a fish tank and it has 200 fish. 99% of those fish is red fish. How many of those red fish need to be removed in order to have red fish equivalent to 98% of the total number of fish left in the tank? Now, you know, it seems so easy. It seems so simple. Now, let us say if it is 200 fish and 99% of them are red, I remove some red fish so what would be or how many fish do I need to remove so that the percentage of red fish drops down to 98 seems simple but the catch over here is when I'm removing the red fish what's happening advertently or inadvertently is I'm also reducing the total number of fish so the calculation of percentage could become tedious okay so I thought of building an Excel model and let us solve using an Excel model. Okay. So let's go ahead with that. Let's see how it could be solved. Okay. So this is the Excel that I have created just for convenience. Now I have the input area that is total number of fish in the tank, 200 percentage of red fish, 99. Now number of red fish in the tank is 198. Now this would be my model building area. This column is for the red fish. This column is to find how many fish I'm removing. This is the total fish left after removing and percentage of red fish left. Okay. Now let's work out. Let us put in formulas how it will work. Okay. So to begin with, I have 198 red fish as per the input. Okay. And then how many fish did I remove? Nothing. Okay. So what is the total number of fish left out? That's 200. What's the percentage? 99 percentage. Okay. Now this is what is given in the question. Now I have to start building the model. Let us say I'm removing one fish at a time. Okay. Now let us say if I remove one fish, okay, removing red fish, that is I'm removing one fish. So how many red fish would be left? Okay. Now let us see. I'll put equals to how many would be left? Nine, this 198 minus one. Correct. So let's see how it works. The previous cell. Okay. Minus this cell. Okay. Now this cell, every time what will happen is the previous cell minus one, that would be the number of fish removed okay so let us if i say freeze it okay so what's happening i get 197 now let us say if i drag this what is going to happen just see when i'm dragging it's becoming 196 95 94 93 92 so each time I'm able to reduce one successively, correct? So I'll keep scrolling it down. 
I am just zooming in for your convenience. Okay, I'll keep scrolling it down. Okay, scroll further and further and further. Okay, so I'm reaching somewhere 122. You need not go that far. I'm just doing it for just illustration. Now, in this case, let us see the number of fish removed. Okay, every time the number of fish getting removed is one extra. Okay, now let us say this is two fish removed, three fish removed. Okay. Now let's see how we will do this. Okay. Now this will be this cell minus this cell. Okay. Now every time this 198 becomes constant. So I'll freeze this also. This is what we have learned in absolute referencing. Right. So you can see now I have removed two fish. Okay. Now let us see. I drag it down. Okay. Now you can see every time one fish is increasing. Okay. How many fish I'm see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. So every time one fish is increasing. Okay. Now how many fish are left in the tank okay now how many fish would be left total fish so how many would be left that would be can you guess every time one is reducing okay so total was 200 one red fish removed now it will be 199 so this this minus this and you can see that every time I drag down this 200 needs to be constant okay so again I'll freeze this so this is frozen you can see now it's 199 I pull it down okay so you can see every time one is reducing okay you can check 141 40 39 38 37 36 35 and so on so my modeling is working okay now let's find the percentage percentage would be how now let's see what we have been doing let's see this cell is already formatted as a percentage so i need not put 100 again so straight away i am getting 98.99 percent okay the same way now if i simply drag the entire thing so you can see i will get 98.39 but where is 98 my target is to reach 98 so i have to drag it further so let's keep dragging it okay let's see i'll drag all the columns okay now let us just highlight a few and I double click here you can see it reaches till the end okay this is a small tip that you can practice you don't have to drag the entire thing again and again select a few cells okay just keep your cursor over here when you get that angry plus sign over there okay and when you drag it down it comes straight away okay now you can see at this point at this point i am getting this 98 percent okay this is what we were looking for so how many red fish did i remove i have removed 100 red fish in order to get 98 percentage okay so this is how i have created a model at the same time i have used absolute referencing in this case so this was an interesting example of how you can create models okay so getting back these are my contact details you can follow me on linkedin facebook twitter and this is my email you can write to me directly 
that is rajeshdurbala at gmail.com so that was nice interacting with you thank you for paying attention